19 lovers fight. Y'all race in mysterious ways. Love is real, love is one of a kind. But the right one that's truly for you. Someone became your safe place. Wow. Someone allows you to feel safe. Someone allows you to feel comfortable. Someone actually acknowledged you. God placed someone to value your time in the most healthiest way to honor you and respect you. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day to be your peace in the most healthiest way. Wow. So then that you're not used to somebody being real with you without wearing a mask. You didn't have to question their loyalty. You didn't have to question their respect for you. They was willing to show you at the end of the day. Actions speak louder than words. Your past don't live for the day. The energy hits different. When love at first sight isn't existing, when someone walks into your life and they mean what they say, that, hey, I'm truly in tune with you. I'm truly invested to get to know you for who you truly are. I'm not here to shortchange you. I'm here to choose you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just because moments, something that you're not used to, someone showing up for you. Wow, the energy hits different. I ain't got to shortchange you when it comes to communication because I meant what I said and I said what I meant that day when I acknowledged God's plan. A blessing from God. You was placed in my life when I least expected. Wow. We're both on the same page when it comes to communication, respecting each other and being loyal to each other and exist in an even exchange when it comes to communication. I'm willing to be your peace in the most healthiest way. Wow. You chose me. I chose you. We're on the same page. Dysfunctional behavior. That's what your past brought you when it came to trauma and pain. Your past don't live here today. Someone is willing to show you to come out your comfort zone in the most healthiest way while you're choosing your future to better yourself. Wow. He only realized at the end of the day, the right, word, the right person walked into your life. Not only did they just walk into your life, but they walked into your life to acknowledge you the most healthiest way that, wow, things will never be the same. Someone means what they say and they say what they mean, that they're willing to mean what they say and say what they mean. The energy, it's different. Someone is not giving up on me, let alone someone is not wearing a mask to gaslight me, but they're truly in tune with me. They're not here to save me on my thought process, my freedom, my pockets, or my eyesight. The energy, it's different. When God placed the right one in your life when you least expected, when you thought you was about to give up on the love department. Only to realize you had to regroup and find you to understand that, hey, I love me, I love me, I love me, I love me. Thank you, God, for allowing me to love me. To understand your wounds that wasn't stored within you when it came to trauma and pain, not to become a victim. Wow. Things would never be the same because you was willing to choose your future to better yourself. That energy had definitely even exchange. You chose yourself to understand your prayers was answered when you least expected a blessing from God. Wow. Only to realize another blessing was on its way. The right one to love you. The right one to communicate with you. The right one to show you that end of the day. Hey, I'm here to be your piece of the healthy way. I don't know what your past brought you when it came to charm and pain. But when it came to short change, you when it came to communication. But I'm willing to meet you halfway. To honor and respect you. Not to kick you down with words. Good day, bad day, or misunderstanding day. But to uplift you in the most healthiest way. So days when you can't see for yourself, hey, I'm not going to acknowledge trauma and pain towards you. Or dysfunctional behavior towards you, something that you're not used to. That would never be an issue. It's me being real with you and me and what I say and say what I mean. Actions speak louder than words. And God showed you that day that the right one was placed in your life when you least expected at the right time to love you right. A union created by God when you least expect it. Only to realize your steps was ordered. Everything that you asked for was falling into place. When it came to your union, show enough for yourself in the most healthiest way, understanding your journey that, wow, I can't look back today. I'm only allowing God to allow me to see my faith. That I'm willing to choose my best self vision of myself to recognize that, hey, I understood change, I understood growth, and I understood that things would never be the same. Things to bring the love of my life into my life when I least expect it. Time, patience, and change. The energy is different. When someone means what they say and they say what they mean. You smile on the inside and it shows on the outside. Wow, that's healthy love and existent love. Something that you're not used to. Someone installing that within you. You loved yourself first, but you acknowledge that, wow, someone was placed in my life to love me right. And I actually mean what I say and I say what I mean. I ain't got a gas like nobody today. But I'm truly at peace with myself and thank you for being patient with me. We are both on the same page, without gaslighting each other. The energy is different. Love is bro. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's truly for you. If you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship, leave innocent people alone. You know, someone acknowledged you that day without running game on you and playing mind games or whatever the case may be, and they wasn't trying to remind you of their past or let alone remind you of your past. 
And they meant what they said that they really wanted to get to know you, but they had to walk away that day to realize at the end of the day, they wasn't trying to backtrack when dealing with trauma and pain because you didn't see their worth. The energy is different. Leave innocent people alone if you're playing mind games and narcissist behavior games or whatever the case may be, dysfunctional games, and you're not ready for someone real, let alone to remove your mask to be real with yourself to recognize what you actually mean, what you're saying, say what you mean. Stop trying to psych people out their thought process, they feel in their pockets or their eyes, like, because you ain't got good attention. The energy is different. <laughs> Love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one, actually, for you. If you're not mentally ready to be in a relationship, leave innocent people alone. It's a thought process to me. Someone acknowledge how to respect your time and day, to value your time and day, and all you did was run game and gaslight them and manipulate their character. For this good nature really wasn't. All because you wasn't ready. Oh, because you were scared and you ran and you didn't have good intentions. To be real with yourself, to recognize that then they, I need to leave an innocent person today because I'm not mentally ready for this. Leave innocent people alone. It's a thought process to me because there's somebody out there that's willing to value their time without the mind games or the bond, the mind games or the narcissist behavior or the short change of the conversation. They're going to mean what they say and say what they mean and value their time. Leave innocent people alone. It's a thought process for me. Like I said, my content is not for everybody, and that's okay. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely love all the right people. You are genuinely respect of all the right people, and you deserve to be treated with respect. The rest of the five days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy, because not everybody's ever in your time any day. You matter. You're worthy. Never allow hate in the skies or personal misintentions. I get your thought process, you're free in your pockets or your eyes like they ain't got good intentions. Protect your energy because not everybody's ever get time in your day. You know, it's not a crime to love yourself. And be careful when judging a book by its cover, Nate. When I say that respect, I hope you find peace in your own lane. You know, when it comes to healing, trauma, and pain, it would never be an overnight process. So never allow someone to suck at your thought process, you're free in your pockets or your eyes like. And allow you to believe it's the norm of the norm because it's not the norm. It would never be an overnight process healing trauma and pain. And I say that respectfully. It's a thought process for me. Like I said, my content is not for everybody, and that's okay. But leave innocent people alone with your mind games. It's a thought process for me. Especially when someone understood trauma and pain. They're not trying to relive that. Especially when they got to come out their comfort zone to get to know you for who you are and you want to shortchange them. Nobody got time for them type of games. And I say that respectfully. It's a thought process for me. I actually reach down to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day. Have a safe week. Have a safe remaining month. Have a safe remaining year. Have a safe remaining weekend. Have a safe remaining day. Protect your energy because not everybody's ever going to get time of your day. You matter. You're worthy. <laughs> it's a thought process for me. <laughs> I need a nap. Have a good day. Gotta go. <clears throat>